Hey guys, HerbQuest here with some progress that I've made from the Dead Man Mode Seasonals for the winter season, I believe they're calling it, but season 7 nonetheless, the one after the autumn tournament. It still seems like the autumn season because it's still fall, but anyway, starting out here, doing some more Wilderness Slayer. Got a couple of keys on the way up here. Just uh, found one person scald with a key. They were pretty easy to take out with the magic short bow. So I've got his key and the key from the guy that he killed. And I just went down here, trained on greater demons. Still at XP cap, but getting some nice slayer points. Moving along to the end of the trip here, got a bunch of emblems and some rune full helmets from the task. Pretty good so far. But unfortunately the keys were junk. Then I had an ice giant task and finished that up pretty quickly and grabbed myself some cosmic runes while I was at it. Then right after the Ice Giants, I had Ice Warriors, so I headed right back up to the far north to get that done with. Moving ahead, I barely got the recorder on for this clip. was killing some scorpions, and this level 87 comes up on me and wants to fight, so I have a go with them for a little bit. Right now I know I can out DPS him out even though he's got a hybrid setup going on. I'm pretty decent with my prayer switches and I was going to stand here and deathmatch the guy. I thought he was going to get me but he had to run back to the bank and then I don't know I didn't really want a bank fight so I just sort of dipped out there. No one wants to do a legit death match anymore in Dead Man kind of blows. And today I did a whole bunch of Herblore training, grinded out to level 77 Herblore, which means I can now make stamina potions. And during like the first two days I grinded a lot of agility and saved up a lot of marks of grace. So that's what I'm doing here is just cashing in on those and then getting the heck out of the rogue's den before someone shows up. Spent a lot of my money on Herblore supplies and after I ran low I decided to go kill some Kurasks to make up for that and get some more raw cash flow because these are great for raw cash and I use a ring of wealth here so I don't even have to pick up the drop most of the time. It's pretty nice. And I noticed that other guy over there who's also ranging them, so I decided that as soon as the aggro wore off, I would go over and fight him for a little while, use up some of the food. Being that my build is what it is, I should be able to out DPS him and make him run away. And if not, then I'm down for a death match. So I test the aggro, they're no longer aggro, and I just pot up and run right on over to them. And at first he starts to run away, but then after a minute he's down to fight back, and I see he's got hybrid going on, which means that he doesn't have the same range DPS as I do, so I've just got to keep on my flicks. I notice he's got good bolts. So I start getting on the defensive with the prayer flux a little bit more. Speed the rest of this up for you guys real quick. So we just exchange hits back and forth for a little while. It was pretty fun, but then as soon as he gets low, he goes for the little agility shortcut in the Torath room. And I did good at getting in right away when he went through, but then I only get one hit in on him on this side, and 
he's already got enough gap to teleport away, and unfortunately it was a zero. If I were to max, that could have been a KO, but I used up quite a bit of my supplies fighting him a little bit more than I would have liked to. But I didn't want to use any of the remaining supplies to heal, so I just waited off the poison and let my health heal naturally one minute over time as the poison wore down, which was a little bit sketchy because anyone can pop right in and spec me out if I'm not paying attention, so on edge training, not so very AFK as Kurasks normally are, even in Dead Man because the aggro is so intense that you can get somebody off you really easily up here. I think this is probably one of the best places to camp at right now in seasonal. But lately this season I've been feeling kind of demotivated, especially today. Um, the last of my real life friends like quit Dead Man pretty much, so I'm like by myself again, which uh, is normal. I mean, I played many seasons as a solo player, but we were all talking about doing some group PKN and going around the multi and trying like some clan stuff, but even uh, even my buddy Jay, Dark World Order, he messaged me one day saying that he was bored and down to PK and I was like, well, I'm getting camp right now and I still got to get a couple more supplies because that was right after I died yesterday from the rebuild. It's like I'm down to PK like all day tomorrow. And then I got on, this was yesterday, and he was on the 300 worlds back in regular old school, so I guess he's done with Dead Man too. And my other friend, he got demotivated because he fell behind, and then my other friend died to lag. The servers, like, DC'd while he was on the edge of a safe zone, so he died and lost everything, got frustrated and tried PKing with no gear, which was a little bit silly, and ended up dying scald, losing stats, got demotivated, and quit as well, so at this point, I kind of just want to get up to 81 herb lore, do a nice PK trip with Bruise, and call it a season from there since everyone else seems to be quitting. Maybe like one more hard death, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty demotivated for the rest of the season just because all my friends quit. It's nothing really to do with the servers. I mean, I like the XP cap. That's really nice. I like the free-to-play dead man. Unfortunately, you can no longer play that if you have membership. I, I liked it the first couple of days because they made it um, so that even if you did have membership, you could log into free-to-play and only risk your free-to-play stuff. And I was going to mess around in there and do some free-to-play PKing, but I didn't have the right gear set up at the time. And you know, I just wasn't ready. Then by the time I got ready, I go to log into it, and I was restricted from it, so that was kind of a bummer. Well, after I saw a scold guy walk past at Jelly's, decided to home telly with this loot, which, I mind you, is only three range pots worth of Kurasks, so pretty decent, I think. Coming in with some checking the health of some trees. And ooh, there's 70 farming, only a couple more levels, and I can start growing my own dwarf weed. And I went up to the GE and decided I'm just going to liquidate my cash into herb lore supplies, and I managed to get a bunch of blue dragon scales for making some more anti-fires, because those actually profit quite decently right now. So at this point I'm feeling a little bit more motivated now that I got my cash stack going. I'm pretty close to being able to do some deep well DPKing out there. So I'm just making potions at the Grand Exchange, going the one step outside. It's pretty safe. 
right here in this spot. You see some people go through now and again, but nobody's really going to mess with you because you're right next to the safe zone. And it's double XP, so it's like having twice as many herbs. If I had infinite cash, I could probably get away with bank stand potion making, but I don't mind traveling to the other side of the GE for double the XP. And then I saw this viewer here. It says that he saw the vid, saw that I was doing well, and wished me luck. So I wished him luck too. It's always cool. Kind of cheered me up a little bit. And then, as I was making this patch of potions, this guy comes up with his two keys. I've seen him around before trying to lure to multi. Felt pretty safe though, because I marked where the multi line is on the map. It's that little black circle there. And being that I know where multi is, I'm not really afraid of a multi lure, because usually they just try to lure you to like where that general black circle is. And I decided to uh, gear up and see if I could get this guy to screw around a little bit, maybe make a mistake, get his health low, and then I could get a nice cheeky spec in with the magic short bow. And I gear up just in case he has friends or I get pulled in for like a second. I'm pretty tanky, so I can take being in multi for like two seconds, I'm pretty sure. So I stam up. Energy is super low from not having any potions. I know this guy's gonna attack me right away. I don't attack him at first because I didn't want to accidentally skull in case he like logged out or something and logged back in real quick while I was gearing up. And then there it is. He tries to go down there and lure me. So I'm just being very cautious not to go too far to the east because right where he's standing right there is the multi line and he's like a magic short bow back from dead so he's really close I'm just hoping to catch this guy making a mistake his lures are really annoying they mess over the noobs and eh. and I keep on trying to hit him but he keeps on standing back in the multi line. Try to stand there and then run south momentarily. And there's his friend running up with his dragon dagger, so I know there's at least two of them. It's definitely a multi lure. I got to be very careful. Swap it over to long range and Ooh, and there's a 24 right off. There's his friend with the dragon spear. And I almost thought it was laughable at this point because he's got his dragon spear. He's going to have to push me like six spaces each. They need two dragon spears to make me go all the way east to Malti there. So his dragon spear doesn't intimidate me at all. So I keep on trying to get in range of this guy and then clicking away right as he tries to click me. Wasn't quick enough that time. And then he stands under me and there's his friend with the dragon spear so I try to wait for the freeze to wear off because I'm in a straight line. Then he spec uh, specs, moves me there and there's three people with double magic short bow spec. I didn't realize that that square was multi and I just lost everything because I didn't safe box anything because I didn't think that I was going to die especially to a silly lure like that but now I know that right next to the ditch is multi even closer to the west so being that my bank is cleared, I didn't save anything. All my items were in the grand exchange. Doing some flipping. I guess that's it for the seasonal for me. All my friends quit. My bank is gone. 
but I'm ranked and I have like 960 total so my rank's going to stay for the tournament but it just doesn't really seem worth it. It was seeming not worth it to play the season when I woke up this morning and everybody had quit and it was just and it was just training up to get the herb lore level and I didn't even know why I was going for 81 herb lore but I guess I'm not gonna get that this season I was thinking maybe I could get 81 herb lore, do a PK trip and if I survive the deep well EPK trip then just take all the loot and swap it over to my main. I usually don't swap, in fact I've like never swapped before but I was just gonna swap it over to have some money on my main account because yeah the season's like pretty much over but now I have nothing to swap. I got lured in the multi and my potion timers were up before. My stamina pot timer was right where the multi-way sign is, so thanks OS buddy for that. Well, uh, see you guys soon with an Iron Man progress video. Peace. Actually, first I'm going to do some more of those audiobooks. Kind of demotivated from playing in general right now, so I'll just read some of the lore books.